Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, we are from Department of Chemical Engineering, University of Sumatera Utara, wants to present our discussion about oleochemistry technology, especially in fat splitting. First, meet our team. My name is Rodari Fauzia and my friends Farah Nabrar and Farah Nur Afizades. Before we move to the explanation, here we describe you the contents of this video. So, in this video, we're going to talk about what is fat splitting, what is the reaction of fat splitting, hydrolysis as one of splitting process, and the last one, hydrolysis methods. In this video, we're going to talk about three methods of hydrolysis, which are Twitchell methods, autoclave batch methods, and continuum methods. And now, we move to the content explanation. So first, we need to know what is fat splitting. Definition of fat splitting by language is fat splitting in bahasa, we can say pemecahan lemak. By definition, fat splitting is the process of splitting or breaking down fats or oils or triglycerides into fatty acid and glycerin as a byproduct using water uh, or we can say hydrolysis process and or using enzyme. Next, what is the use of fat splitting process? So, the purpose of fat splitting process is to produce fatty acid and glycerin as a byproduct, which will then be processed into oleochemical product. And then, various types of fat splitting process. Fat splitting process can be used with various types. One of them is hydrolysis process. In this video, we split hydrolysis process into three methods. First, Twitchell method. Second, auto batch clef method. And third, continuum method. And the other type of fat splitting process is enzymatic process. Enzymatic process can be done by using enzyme lipase from Candida rugosa at the temperature range 26 into 40 Celsius with a period of time 48 into 70 hours with a breakdown yield of approximately 98%. Okay, now I'm Farah Nabrar. I will explain about the hydrolysis reaction. The hydrolysis of the triglyceride is the reaction to perform a fatty acid or the glycerol and the desired products. When three fatty acid combine with one glycerol molecule, so the triglyceride is formed. It is formation triglyceride at the result of the condensation of one molecule of uh, glycerol and three molecule of fatty acid, which form one molecule of the triglyceride and uh, one molecule of water. Uh, and this reaction can we see this reaction uh, so the general hydrolysis came of the triglyceride where the fatty acids uh, side chain the pipe that with the latter are can vary in length and saturation amount of the double bond. Fatty acid can be obtained by process breaking the structures of the triglyceride, which is also known as the hydrolysis. In general, uh, non-enzymatic hydrolysis require high uh, energy consumption to provide a high temperature condition uh, and also high pressure condition. And next slide will be explained by my friend. As we know before, fat splitting has two types of process. First, hydrolysis, and second is enzymatic. This time, we are focusing on hydrolysis process that consists of Twitchell process, batch of the cleft process, and continuous process. That we discuss more about this later on in the next slide. The last topic is various methods of fat splitting process, hydrolysis. So, as we know before, in this video, we're gonna talk about three various methods of hydrolysis. The first method is Twitchell method, the second method is autoclave batch method, and the last method is continuum method. Okay, now, the first method is Twitchell method. Here, you can see the illustration of the process. The Twitchell process is a process that was originally developed for fat splitting. Uh, this process using a simple, inexpensive, and easy way of installation and operation. But this process requires a lot of energy and the product is low quality. So operating this process, we need three parameters, which are low temperature, low pressure, and we need to use catalyst. Uh, 
For this process, we can use Twitchell Regen or sulfuric acid as a catalyst. Next, the principle of this process. So, the operation of this process takes place in a wooden lead line or in bahasa tong tahan asam. So, in a wooden lead line, the content consists of water which emits half of fat, 1 to 2% sulfuric acid, and Twitchell Regen 0.75 to 1.25%, heated to boiling at atmospheric pressure for 36 until 48 hours using open steam. The process is usually repeated two to four times, each pass producing a solution of glycerin and water. In the final step, water is added and the mixture is heated again to a boil to wash off the remaining acid. Here I'm gonna show you the simple illustration of the process. So the operation takes place in a wooden lead line or, ta or we can say tong tahan asam. The content consists of fatty water, sulfuric acid, and region tichal, and heated to boiling at atmospheric pressure and at temperature 100 to 105 Celsius for 36 to 48 hours using open steam. The process is usually repeated two to four times each pass, producing a solution of glycerin and water. Next, in the final step, water is added and the mixture is heated again to a boil to wash off the remaining acid so that the remaining product is only contains glycerin. Every method, of course, it has advantage and disadvantage. So, what is the advantage of this process? So, first, the advantage of this process is can be used for large scale, uh, the process using a simple, inexpensive, and easy way, and the initial investments relatively low. And then, what is the disadvantage of this process? So, the disadvantage of this process is catalyst handling takes a long time. And in a long reaction period, the required steam is high, and the fatty acid discoloration is uneven. So, that's all about this method. Next, we have Farhan to explain the next method. And now, I want to explain about the autoclavage method. This process is commercial method that requires a long time to separate. The exit provided must be in sufficient quantity to produce a light chlor substance. This process is faster than the two-shell process. It takes 6 till 10 hours to complete. Uh, the autoclave is a tall cylinder. Uh, with a diameter of uh, 12 and 20 till uh, 18 and 29 millimeter and height of a 6 till 12 meter. Separation using of a uh, catalysis, uh, uh, separate separation using a catalysis of zinc, uh, magnesium or calcium oxide. All the catalysis the most active is zinc. About two till a uh, four percent catalysis is used and a certain amount of zinc powder is added to improve the color of the fatty acid. Okay, next. Okay, now let's see the operation parameter of this process. The autoclave batch method uses a, temp a high temperature and high operation. Uh, can we see this process on the picture? The, temp the temperature of steam about 150 till 175 degrees Celsius. I think this is a high temperature. And now uh, let's see from uh, pressure. This pressure about uh, 1,138 1, kilopascal. I think this is a high pressure. And uh, this process use catalyst zinc, magnesium, or catal or calcium oxide. Uh, and this process can use without catalyst, but usually uh, this process use a catalyst because better use catalyst than uh, without catalyst. Okay, next. Okay, now I want to explain about how to do this process from uh, the autoclave batch method. First, the autoclave is filled with a amount uh, of fat and water, about uh, half of the fat, and add a catalyst. Steam is exhaled to replace the salt water and the autoclave is closed. 
steam is used to increase the pressure to uh, 1135 kilopascal and is injected continuously while a small grating maintains agitation and operation pressure conversion can be acid more than uh, 19.5% after 6 till 10 hour the content of the, the outer cleft are transferred to a tank where fatty acid are formed at the top and glycerin at the bottom the fatty acid form at uh, the fatty acid form are added with the mineral acid to separate the soap content and then wash again to separate the remain the remaining mineral acid. I think this uh, this is about a process of uh, the autoclave batch method. Okay, now let's see the strength and the weakness this process. But first, I will exp I will expand uh, the strength this process. Uh, uh, this process can adaptation for a small industry and snacks uh, the first infest infestation cheaper than a continued process and uh, this process faster than a twitchel process and let's see the weakness from this process first uh, uh, require high initial investment and handle cost for this uh, process and longer time and this process longer time than a continuous process uh, I think the this is a uh, strength and weakness from this uh, this uh, process uh, next uh, the next method uh, will be uh, expand by my friend lastly is continue method here we give you the flow diagram you can see on the right side on your screen. This method has operation parameters. First, it needs high temperature. Second, it needs high pressure. And lastly, catalyst can be used or not at all. So catalyst in this process is optional. And how about the principle? The principle of this method is first, the crude fat pass as the contact pass from the top of the tower, while the heavier liquid flows down as the dispersed phase in the form of a mixture of fats and acid. In the process of breaking the fat and oil further using high pressure, the removal of fatty acid also occurs on this method. Okay, this time I need to tell you more about single stage powder current fat splitting. Here's the flow diagram that you see earlier. As you can see, in this method, you need the main equipment that call as splitting tower. We can call this as separation column with this specification. As you can see, it's common made by stainless steel to prevent corrosion and able to perform high pressure and temperature. Okay, the process is start. First, fat enters the through the bottom of the column and the water enters through the top of the column with the ratio 40 until until 50 percent of fat mass at the top of the column in splitting tower then both of this fit is is react in this empty volume with high P and P, so this process can can be faster. After the process, uh, we have the output. First is the bottom column that produces this base. As we tell you before, is a made of what is made of fat and acid that we call as with water. And the output at the top column is crude fatty acid. Here we have flashing tank because because we tell you before that this process really have high temperature and high pressure so we need to reduce the pressure of the condensate so we can use this steam later on on the next process so the final output is the fatty acid and the sweet water this method itself claims they can make a conversion up to 99% but it also depends on how type of fat that we use as a feed and 
The second is sweet water that we tell you before is a mixture of fat and acid. So for the conclusion, various type of hydrolysis technology for different operation parameters, product conversion, and operating time. The other considerations such as investment and controlling system also important. So what kind of technologies you will use has to be your best decision depends on how your product and process design that you desire. Okay, that's it. That's all from us. Thank you for hearing us out and have a nice day and see you later.